Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, Pamela, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. What happened to you? What's going on? Are you working? Uh, no, I'm not right, right now. No, mm. just for the, a little. A little? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <sighs> okay. No, I'm asking you because lately your your audio doesn't work. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes I don't have re a good reception. Because I use my, data. Uh, I am my yeah data and I am my phone. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I was texting you yesterday because of that. Where? Recent here through WhatsApp. I mean through Zoom through Zoom. Yeah, I didn't see her. Hmm. Yeah, but I know I, today I have good, uh, well, I think I have good reception. Let's hope. Tomorrow is our, <laughs> la tomorrow is our last class. So yes. I hope everybody's here on time. Ah, we have only three. Oh, no, yeah. Walter and me. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Oh. My God, yeah, Ada, you. Ada got yeah. disconnected because she's she's not okay. I mean, she had a um a ah. molar. She had a molar removed, so oh yeah, she's she in pain. I, I, uh -huh. yeah, she couldn't speak. I I guess she's in pain. She's in pain mm -hmm. right now. Oh. And what what is what it is the what no what. It is the activity because I what see is? what is the activity that we need to finish today because I see I saw. on the group uh -huh. what I said. <laughs> yeah, you saw what I said on, on the group. OK, uh, mm -hmm. yesterday, yesterday we started with um, an activity of building um, like the perfect position, the perfect job for a oh, millennial okay. for a millennial oh, okay. and that's the plan tonight we have to talk about Finish. the generational oh. gap how ah, yeah. to how to diminish the generational gap as well and mm -hmm. basically that's oh, okay it's the topic for tonight okay <laughs> <laughs> carla is always with her cats Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Carlita. How are you tonight? Fine. And all good. It's good to see you. Thank you. My God, we're only four so far. Unbelievable. Okay, let's talk about an interesting topic, if you may, girls. I guess Edwin is here, Walter. I don't know if they're present or what. Um, did you like the Beatles? Well, what is <laughs> there? <laughs> did you like the Beatles? Um, not. I no. Not. No. I'm no, I don't. No, I don't. I prefer another bands. Do you prefer other bands? Right. I yeah. understand, but uh, really? I, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not my favorite. It's not of your favorites, really? No. So have you heard some songs or not too many? Yes. Uh, no, I, I heard about, uh, well, I, I listened some of her on um, their songs. Your Some songs. of their songs, really? Mm -hmm. 
I will recommend you. Well, I don't know. No, you may not like that. But there was a movie called Yesterday. Mm -hmm. a, a few years ago, they they made a movie called Yesterday, and it's it's basically okay. a guy who uh, sings all of the Beatles songs, and and nobody knows about the Beatles. It's like the world without the Beatles. Mm. <laughs> It's really crazy. I like that. So, no Beatles. Do you like classic rock, classic music? Classic music. You, you say know, like, yeah, something like Mozart? Uh, yeah, too. Yeah, why not? Uh, what know. kind of classic? I like, Queen? Um, yeah, classic rock, but no, I, if you mention classic, like <laughs> uh, Beethoven, no, I prefer. Batch, batch. I think that's the pronunciation. Uh, back, batch. Back, back. Yeah, the cello, cello music. Yes. Prelude nineteen. No, okay, no, it's no. maybe this one not. Sorry. I can hear you, or maybe I don't know if I'm me. Hello? Oh my God, Why? I'm sorry. Have you seen the, <laughs> the I, I was thinking maybe what was my internet. <laughs> Maybe it's me, right? Sorry. Yeah. Have you seen that movie, The Pianist? El Pianista? Uh, no, but I know that. I. It's about, I don't remember. Yeah, it's, it's a good movie, but I never watched it. <laughs> Is it boring, maybe? Maybe it's boring for you. No. You're... You're no, no, I think <laughs> no, I don't think so. My well, my mom can play the, the, the piano. What really? Yeah, and she, what about you? Uh well I was learn, learn learning. Uh no. I was learning. Yes, I was uh -huh. learning. I was learning, but it's I was never too good than she. And also, uh, maybe my abilities or um, likers are more for illustration that play an instrument. But I have a piano in my in my home. My house, really? My house. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. that that's well, a it's a clavinova. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like a piano, but uh, electric. to the wall. Uh, oh, an electric pen. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, that's a frustrated dream that I have. But I'm still young. I'm still pollo, and I know I can learn to play the piano. Yeah, right. well, my fa my dad is is learning right now <laughs> to play the guitar. To play the guitar, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. It's okay to he ha he's in around fifty. He's on his fifties, really. Yeah. And learning to play the guitar, that's awesome. That's admirable. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Pami. Thank you. I guess I guess you're more for Adele, right? I like Adele. Yeah. They have, she has a good uh, voice, a stronger. Very strong voice, very clear, soft. Yes. And, but the lyrics, the lyrics are a little bit toxic. Mm. <laughs> In my opinion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sentimental. <laughs> Too sentimental. It's like breaking up. Mm -hmm. It's like breaking up songs. Okay. Yeah. I used to like her when she was fatty, you know, when she was a little bit fat. Oh, she, well, she's, yeah, she was beautiful. She, she's like, yeah, she always looks good. Yeah, but I don't like to, um, I don't know, listen to her talking 
like we're doing right now because mm. her her english is is i mean it's british it's british and i don't like yes. british english mm. <laughs> it's okay. too strong i don't know mm -hmm. and the australians oh my god australian english is worse <laughs> this is the worst okay <laughs> i know it's difficult mm -hmm. not difficult but i mean their no, accent it's, yeah yeah it's so busy as the accent it's uh to me it's very difficult to understand to understand understand sometimes because it's very strong it's very strong yeah they do have an accent um mm -hmm. for me for me it's difficult okay mm -hmm. Where is Ada? Ada didn't return and Glorita is not here as well. Well, let me do the attendance. Enciéndame las cámaras, por favor, solo mientras que pasamos la asistencia en nuestro penúltimo día. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames, Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores, Ana Sermi Chévez. That's weird. Okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Welcome. <laughs> Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriel Ignacio is not here again. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores is not here tonight yet. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Okay, thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Yeah. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. I cannot see you, but okay. <laughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. There you are. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Okay. Sandra Gladys Mendes Ramirez. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. No. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Nunca había visto al hombre invisible. Hoy lo vi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there he is. Okay. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She said she was going to connect. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is overwhelming. Very overwhelming. Um, just a minute. Okay, uh, do you know what? I was expecting everybody to be here. So it's sad to see that nobody's here. I mean, we're just 10 so far. I got you, Ophelia. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start the class just by having a regular conversation with your classmates. What I will do is just do a dynamic. Okay. Um, let me start making you questions, okay? Hello, Susana, welcome. Hello, thank you. I am surprised, I think we finish the next week. No, no, in fact, no. in fact, we were supposed to finish on Tuesday originally, but then I couldn't deliver a class, so we made an exception. And then there something happened right with the storm with Julia, and we moved the, the date again. So we're finishing tomorrow. I need to finish the homework. I don't finish the platform. You haven't finished the platform. <laughs> yes, I need mm. to finish. Okay, just okay, as a punishment. As a punishment, Susana, answer the following question for the class, okay? I have a question for you guys. 
and then after Susana, Susana will select somebody and so on, okay? So Susana, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Okay, okay, okay. Repeat, please. How many pairs of shoes do you own? ¿Cuántas pares de zapatos tengo? Come on, yes, you, you know. I, I have a very shoes. I have a lot I, of shoes. I, I have a lot of shoes. I think, I think 22. I, don't, I think about, about 22, okay. Yes, I think 22. How, how many pairs do you really wear? Seven. About seven. seven. Okay. Yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, can and you select- I have a, I have a Valentine's because I sleep with my, my, my daughter. Wait, do you have an advantage? And we change. Okay, yes. so you, you mean that your advantage because is, is your advantage is that you your daughter you wears the same size as you. Yes? Yes, sometimes. I mean, yes. She's seven and you're seven yes. or so. Yes. Mm. About seven. Okay. And my that's... second my second girl. Mm -hmm. I think in a couple months, you seven too. She will wear, she will wear seven as well. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Susana. Can you select somebody else? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Julia? Julia. Okay. Julia? Sorry, Julia. It's for the storm. <laughs> Julia Patricia. Okay, okay, she's not there. Somebody else, Susana? Pamela. Pame, okay, Pame. Hello. <laughs> okay, your question. What is the first thing that you think of in the morning? What is the first thing that you think of in the morning when you wake up? Uh, the first thing that I think in the morning, it is why I'm, why I'm wake up. Why am I awake? <laughs> really? really? Yes. Because I, I, I really like to, I it's one of my favorite hobbies, sleep. So <laughs> I don't sleep a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everybody's hobby. Mm, and then I think about what I'm going to wear. What am I? When, when what, I, when... what am I? Can you see it slowly? What, what am I? What am I, what am I going to wear? I going, going to wear. Easier, easier. Ah, when I, what am when I going to wear? Listen, what am I going to wear? <laughs> what am I going to wear? Repeat. What, uh, I need to. Uh, what am I going to wear? <laughs> yeah. Again, what so I need to read. <laughs> yeah, what am I? What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna wear? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> what, what am I gonna wear? <laughs> look, look, look. What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna wear? What am I? What am I? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> uh -uh. What am I? What am I? What am I gonna wear? Gonna wear. There you go. What am I gonna wear? Mm. Damn. What, am I gonna wear? what am I gonna wear? 
What am I going to wear? Really? Okay. So first thought, why am I awake? Mm -hmm. What am I going to wear? Okay. Awesome. Select somebody mm -hmm. else. Mm, Nelson. <laughs> Nelson. Thank you, Pami. Mm -hmm. Nelson. No teacher. Hello. Okay. Nelson, do you believe in fate? Do you believe in fate? Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Um, you're confused. Do you believe in fate? It's like my destiny is sealed. It is my destiny, it was my destiny to be your teacher. Oh. It's the same as a synonym. Fate, destiny. So do you believe in fate? Mm. Where my my dream is, for example, is, is a manager, no is teacher. Oh, okay. Wait. So you, my dream is to be a manager. My dream, my dream is be to be manager. To be a manager. Okay, but wait. Do do you believe in fate? Like, for example, let me give you an example. I believe in fate because um, it was written. It was written that I was going to have the kids that I have, my sons, my daughter, you know, that was going to marry my wife. Yeah. It was it was written before I was born. That's fate. Estaba escrito. It was written. Oh. It was written for me to be a teacher, you know, because I love teaching. So that that's fate. I mean... I had to be a teacher. It's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm romantic. So Nelson, do you believe in fate? Mm. ¿Crees en el destino? Uh, no. I think the the destiny I write it. Oh, perfect. There you go. I, I think the destiny I write it. I think that I write my own destiny. Okay. I accept that. I think that I write my own destiny. Okay, good, Nelson. Select somebody else. Um, Edwin. Edwin, thank you. Edwin. Hello, good evening. Thank you, Edwin. Easy. How your friends would describe you? How would your friends describe you? For example, my friends will describe me as a funny person, a, tra a transparent guy. Some of them, some of them will say that I'm bored, that I'm not too sociable because I don't drink alcohol. I don't go to bars. So that's what my friends will say. About me. Uh, what about you? Well, my friends will describe me as um a, something who is happy always. Something. Uh, uh, I always someone. Uh, uh, someone happy? No, I, I don't like to be boring. <laughs> yeah, because it's so boring to be boring. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So um, they they will describe me as a person who always say yes to everything, but no no bad, bad things, you know, mm -hmm. the good things. Hmm. Um, yeah, uh, someone who is general, like how do you say generoso? Generous. Generous. Hmm. Yeah, and. Uh, because uh, you know I'm very involved in in association to help people. Yeah, so I really generous with uh with with people who really need uh, 
Agent. You know, as, Agent. as right. Uh -huh. As right now, you know, right now a lot of people suffer for the storm, the past case. And actually, we really help the people. So, giving food, water, uh, clothes, shoes, and, and everything they need in this moment, it's very important. So, people, uh, uh, my friends describe me as a generous person. Awesome. Hey, that was good. Good job. Hey, just the words so, suffer and suffer, suffer. 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 Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Choose someone else, Edwin. Let me see. Uh, Susana. Susana. Okay. Again, Susana. Okay. Susana. Okay. If you knew you only had 24 hours left to live, what would you do? I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would. Remember, I would dance, I will cry, I will buy, I will go. So if you knew you only had 24 hours left to live, what would you do? I think I will talk with with person I, I really care about me. Care about you, okay. Yes. That's it? Yes. For 24 hours. Yes. Uh, so I see the people. I, I think I, I think I, I will stay in my home with my child, my with husband. Your, with my, my child mom. children. Uh-huh. Or them. child. Is it just one? No, it's four. Oh my God. Okay. Four. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you, you will stay with your children and your husband. Okay, nothing else? No, I think it's, it's all I need for be happy. To be happy. To be happy. Uh, okay. Wouldn't you like to eat something delicious? Yes, pupusas. Chicharron with cheese. <laughs> Hello, pupusas. Really? <laughs> Yes. From Oloquilta, of course, at least. At, <laughs> no, at least. No, no, from, no. From this Oloquilta. place in Santa Tecla. Thing. How do you call this place? Wait a minute. Um, it's a famous place in Santa Tecla. Close to Las Delicias. Oh my god. Clarimar? Clari Clarimar? Clarimar? Maybe? Clarimar? Clari Carimar. Yes. Yes. Are they still good? Yes. I don't like I don't like a lot because is is pupusas charron with cheese is very salad. Salado? How do you say salado? Salty. Salty. Okay. It's very salty. I don't the, like those pupusas are very salty. They are very salty. Okay. Really? Yeah. Mm. Excellent. So pupusas for my last day on earth. Okay. It's a good thought. Um okay. And orchata, of course, yes, orchata with milk. That's that's a must. That is a must. Okay, choose someone else. Okay, Sandra. Sandrita. Sandra okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, an easy one, Sandra. Oh, but Sandra is. Are you on the bus? Sandrita is in the box. Maybe oh my it? God, I love that song. No, basta. Carlos al mundo porque es obligatorio. Oh my God. <laughs> right. Okay, Sandra, thank you. So, who? Who, Susana? Rosita. Rosita, of course, she's here. Okay, mm -hmm. we're missing Carla too. We're missing Carla. Okay, Rosa, Elena, what movies have you rewatched the most number of times? What movies have you rewatched the most number of times? Oh my God, um, I have many, but can I mention You Got Me? Can I mention just 20? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? You, you, you got, got mail? Tom Hanks? 
Yes. And I'm in, I'm in low. <laughs> with that movie. <laughs> well, what's the actress name? Was it? Uh, Mick Ryan. Mick Ryan. Oh my God, Mick Ryan. It's true. I have forgotten about yes. Mick Ryan. <laughs> I was in love with Meg Ryan when, when I was a kid. <laughs> She was my crush. Really, you got mail. It's an amazing movie. Yes. What what other what other movie have you rewatched? Uh, oh my God. How do you, um, the Princess and the and the Frog. Oh, princess really? The, the Princess and the Frog? Yeah, I know. I love That's that Disney's. Movie. Yeah, it's Disney okay. movie. <laughs> yeah, another uh, Top Gun. Top Gun? Yeah. The latest <laughs> one or the old one? Uh, the old one. Hmm. Um, oh my God. Um, maybe all the Avengers movies. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember The Princess Bride? Princess Bride. My God. That's a very old movie. <gasps> the Princess Bride. With, with the giant, Andre the Giant. Mm. In, Inigo Montoya. Mm, no. Andre the Giant. No. It's a story. It's a tale. It is a tale, a, an amazing tale. Really? The Princess Bride. Just just Google it. You're, you're going you're gonna to okay. recognize it. Okay. But um, can I mention another one? Mm. <laughs> if I could mention another one, repeat. Oh, if I yes. could mention, if I could one, mention another one, Titanic. I will say Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. 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 Yeah. <laughs> really? I yeah. will say the notebook. Mm, yes, I will say the notebook, but ah, oh, the Madison's Bridge, Bridge, Bridges, Bridges. Madison's Bridges with Madison, uh, Madison County's bridge something like that, that that's a very old movie and that's for our late that's Queen 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 and Meryl Streep <laughs> Meryl Streep yeah amazing <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go with someone else meaning Carlita oh I mean select somebody <laughs> you say Carla okay <laughs> 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 Okay, Carlita, describe your perfect date. Oh my God, we're not in February, teacher. Uh, my perfect day. I love the beach. Really? Yes. For me, my perfect day is. Would be. Would be. Would be. Planning uh, one street uh, on the beach. Uh, I I like to pass uh, one weekend on the beach and enjoy the sun. Enjoy the, the sun. Enjoy the sea. I like the seafood. Mm -hmm. Oh, to spend on the week. Yes. Uh, what more? The, the, this is that's in, it. That's it. Yes. I mean, as long as there is beach, it doesn't matter with who. It doesn't matter. You know, the hotel. Maybe, maybe the hotel yeah. doesn't matter, right? But if the food is good and you have the beach, man, that's amazing. Yeah, spending the night at the beach is beautiful. Yes, it's very relaxing. Watching the sunset and the sunrise, that's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Okay, just one more who else is missing oh my god we were we we're missing wilfredo too hey somebody who's next okay no okay so that's it that was the warming let's go with the topic so now we are 12 okay we are 12 in the class so yesterday we started um with this dynamic of 
getting the, the best job description for a millennial, if you remember. Our topic today, it's called efforts to bridge the gap of generations. Efforts to bridge the gaps or the gap of generations. How do you bridge the gap of generations? If you look at Nelson's background, that is a bridge, right? So a bridge is something that, you know, allows you to go from point A to point B. So in, that, in this case, okay, it's making reference to the effort to go from generation X to generation Y. So generational gaps, we mentioned some on previous classes, we, we were talking about technology, right? That's like the main generational gap. What other generational gaps are there between the two generations? Do you remember the PDF file that I shared with you? The values? Values, right, for example. How you were raised. So let's go one by one. How do you bridge the gap of generations in terms of technology? In terms of technology. Me, teacher. Yeah, Nelson. Um, where the generation gaps is is born in the in the era era in the, the era mm -hmm. in, 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 in that's a that's a the 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 generation is more ability in development in the technology, the programmer and application is diversity development or create creativity create, 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 creativity create, creativity yeah sorry creativity in different area in a comparison with other generation uh, for example, the son of the father is Polos. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. What do you say, Polo? Pol, po, Pols? Polos. Polos. Pols. 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 And for example, is a less commit. Let's commit it. Let's commit it. Yes, because <laughs> it, it, the she 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 like she like the study, but the task the task is is give in the end day. I didn't get the last the last sentence you said. The past is give. Yes, the, the task, the task, oh. the, the university. Mm -hmm. Yes, the ta the university tasks. Uh, 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 she she do in the end of the day. Oh, oh, okay. She leaves her university homeworks for the, the end of the day, so yes. she procrastinates. She procrastinates. Repeat. She procrastinates. She procrastinates. This is a this is un trabalenguas for you. This is a tongue twister. Procrastinate. Procrastinate. You can say she procrastinates. She procrastinates. Or she is a procrastinator. She's a procrastinator. She's a procrastinator. She's a procrastinator. Uh, she procrastinated. Okay. Yes. 
it's different it, it, it generation gap yes in this generation it's common yes millennials we procrastinate all the time uh and i i, I thought i thought it was something good when i was at the university i was very good um, for international relations i loved the career but i never started i never started for for any exams you know i used to read a few hours before the the exams and and i used to do good you know like eight nine not at never yeah. attend never mm -hmm. attend you know but i i liked my my career okay so that was technology thank you nelson okay somebody else please so how can we breach or what is there to say about the the gap of values the values gap Nelson mentioned procrastinating, you know, not being disciplined. That is a gap on a value. What other values do you think uh, there's a gap on these two generations? <clears throat> Waking up early. <laughs> Yeah, we need to we need we need to to teach. Can I say teach? Yeah. Yeah, we need to teach to the new generations the the punctuality punctuality punctuality. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, why not uh, waking waking up early because <laughs> the, you know, the millennials wake up around 10 or 11 a.m <laughs> but i think that uh, punctuality mm -hmm. honest honesty um what else um my god i forgot honestly punctuality i think that our our value nowadays that no but uh, the young people can i say the young people or the millennials i think is my is my point of view point of view mm -hmm. uh, they don't appreciate it they don't appreciate what yeah the the punctuality okay okay i i i arrive at 10 but you want to be early no yeah mm -hmm. yeah they do they do Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. El, oh, si lo traduzco. <laughs> Al que madruga, Dios le ayuda. Dios le ayuda. Right. El pájaro tempranero come el gusano. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. That's the way you say it. You don't say the one who wakes up early god helps him i mean no no don't translate that textually okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay good hey the next one this is why not i mean we we can talk about this gender tolerance gender tolerance did this i mean i know you don't want to talk about that but it's true i mean we we have been i read an article on Twitter, or I read a thread. You know what is a thread, right? Un hilo, a thread in Twitter, on Twitter. So I read a thread on Twitter. And this guy is a person who reads a lot of books. And they were talking about how during the last 10 years, 10 years, we are always saying, Eh, eh, eh. whatever it's okay and now nobody cares that means they kill a lot of people there is a war and eh, we're in El Salvador eh. so we're the generation of the eh right it's it's okay so the, the same thing happened you know in the united states if you know their culture they started like 10 years ago 
not caring, you know, or, or actually the opposite, I'm sorry. They started caring too much about feelings. It's like, I feel depressed. Okay, get a pill, go to a doctor. Mm, I feel lonely. Okay, get a pill, go to a doctor. I feel weird. Kids used to say, right? I feel weird. I'm, I don't feel like a boy. Okay, let's go to the doctor. And the doctor said, it's okay. You are not a boy. It's fine. Do whatever you want to do. And, and the world started saying, okay, it's okay. So now we say, it's okay. So X generation, we, I mean, that's the part where I agree with the X generation. We, we don't, I don't accept that, you know, uh, whether you call it for religious principles, whatever, you know, I don't like that. I don't know. Uh, if somebody else is okay with that, and actually I have a lot of friends, I told you, right? I have a lot of friends that are, you know, from other genders and it's okay. Okay, that's gender tolerance. Do you agree with that? I mean, because if you disagree, you are homophobic, right? Then it's like, hmm. I'm not agree, but I respect. Yeah, we have to respect. Yeah, yeah I don't agree, but I respect. Um, I think that every, how do you say, every, every head is a world. <laughs> yeah, know. perfect. Every every yeah. head is a world. It's a world. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's a world inside of every one of us. The maybe I can I can talk with them and, and tell my point of view, but if they agree or disagree. It's up to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, but, up to them. Mm -hmm. it's very up good. To them. It's up to them. It's up to them. It's up to them. Good. I, I had very good friends. I, I don't know if you remember. Well, I'm not. I cannot mention names. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but there was a famous character. He used to be my friend. On he was on TV all the time. Anyways, um, discipline. Discipline. Uh, Carla, what can you tell us about discipline? on these two generations? Mm, and discipline is, for me, is when you have a good habit for do or did any action, any activity, any responsibility. Uh, for example, the, the discipline more fantastic is uh, is the discipline an athletic because the athletes should be very disciplined for obtain uh, their objective. Sport, how, how do you call somebody who does sports? Will, how do you call somebody who does sports? Um, for example, athletes, athletes, athletes yes. okay, so athletes uh, uh, must be disciplined to achieve their objectives. Athletes yeah. must be disciplined to achieve their objectives. And, and that's a difficult word, Carlita, athletes. Athletes. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not common. It's common to have a TH, then a L. I think that's the only word. Athletes, okay. Athlete. <laughs> An athlete to have athletes, okay, good. So that's basically what I remember. How do we bridge this uh, gap, these generational gaps? We're going to read an article and I don't know if you remember, uh, can anybody, was anybody ready for the presentation about yesterday's topic? <laughs> ¿Alguien estaba listo para la presentación? No. I saw, I saw some groups. 
preparing a PowerPoint presentation and planning to go to downtown, to historical downtown in you know, San Salvador to collect information. No, no, okay. Okay, let's do the attendance before we start reading and preparing a little presentation about this topic, about today's topic. Um, so before we move on, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames is not here. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Okay. Ana Selmi Chevez is not here today. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Garte. Thank you. Gabriela. Alejandra González Flores. Present. Yeah. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Not here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Here, present teacher. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present the job. Awesome. Okay. You sound you sound drunk. Are you okay, Wilfredo? No. 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 No, no, it's, no, no. it's not Friday, teacher. No, 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 teacher. Okay, no. <laughs> you're tired, just tired. Um, I, no, I, I just finished to try to put a window, a French window. Oh my, my house. God. Hey, that's awesome. Yes. That's good. I like to, I like to try. Some home, home improvement. Yes. Do you remember that series? Team Allen, Team Allen, Mejorando la Casa, Home Improvement? Yes. Yes, yes, it was a good movie, a good so, series. It, it Man, <laughs> yeah. good times. Okay, so what's next? I'm going to split the class. I'll send you an excerpt divided in um, some bold letters. Let me arrange this thing really quick. There are different topics. Okay, a simple gap analysis, a roadmap to bridge the generations. That's the second topic. Give me one second. I was reading this before the class. And recommendations for Generation X and Baby Boomers and Generation Y. So we need four groups, basically. That's it, four groups. It's for Generation Y. Okay, let's do something good, well done. So we have four, four topics. You have them on your WhatsApp chat, four topics. Okay, topics one, two, three, and four. Okay, and here is the link to the excerpt. There you go, that's the link to the excerpt. Es una lectura. Vamos a leer cada grupo lo que le toca, eh? So ahorita los voy a dividir. Vamos a ver quién es quién. Okay, really quick. Where are you? Oh my God, hold on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so group number one, I have Nelson, Susana, Walter, and Wilfredo. Again, that's Nelson, Susana, Walter, and Wilfredo. And they will do a simple gap 
analysis. It's the first topic, Nelson, Susana, you know what? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and send it to your group. Group number two will be Flor de Maria, Adriana Martinez, Pamela and Roselena. As you can see on your WhatsApp, eso si no lo pueden ver por el, por el, por el chat de Zoom. Um, then we have group number three, Gabriela, Alejandra, Ofelia, and Sandra. And group number four, Edwin, Julia, and Carla. So these are the groups. Let's get together. And you have four topics, four groups. Does that make sense? Make sense? Good. Remember, you have to explain in your own words. That's it. Simple as that. For, okay. for, for the group two is the second, a roadmap. A roadmap to bridge the it generations. The oh, okay. Group number three, Gabriela, Ophelia, and Sandra will do recommendations for Generation X baby boomers. And group number four, Edwin, Julia, and Carla will do recommendations for Generation Y. Okay. Good, let's go. Pamela was on group number two. Okay, let's go. Because the, the last... Hey. Yes. <laughs> did you hear that? No, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. I was drinking water. It's good. It's good we, like we are so sad because tomorrow, Susana told me tomorrow is the last class that we are going to have with you. Oh, come on. No, I don't know. No, I think I, I'll continue with you if you want. I don't know. I, of course. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> In the next moment, I promise don't don't sleepy. You know, I, I was expecting I was expecting not to be with you because I had some plans for for November. I had a trip. I had a trip oh, to yeah. I had a trip to Qatar. But, oh, that's okay. but I think it's not gonna happen. So <laughs> I think it's not gonna happen. So I'm a little a little sad about it, but it's okay. 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 I'm sorry for you. Yeah, I know. That <laughs> God laughs at my plans. God, God, God yes, laughs yes. <laughs> at my plans. I like when, when you I like when you explain with with how oh, with um, now. biomechanics. He called this okay. biomechanics. Okay. okay. I'll do that more I often. Like I'll do okay. that more often. Okay. Teacher, <laughs> Thank you. How did you try to see lesser signal language? Sign language? Sign language, uh, yes. No. Really? When yeah, I was I, when I was when I was a teenager, I used to go like, no, never mind. Good night. Good night. Yeah, I know. Good night. Good evening. Do, do you know sign language? Yes, I have. Wow. I have uh, people that doesn't 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 hear and you have uh, deaf and muted people at work. Yes. Yes. Oh wow! But I had to to learn a little. But I I I have studied. They they have taught you. Have yes. they taught you? Have they taught you? Yes. yes. Wow. Wow. But it that's is so interesting good. because because sometimes I I need to give some information about chat. Uh, but sometimes I, I I send us send send them uh, audio. And you forget. Yes, of course. And, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I remember sometimes uh, me, me escribió Bayunco. Yo le puse disculpa y sigue me Pero fue, fue sin querer. Oh my God. But 
es interesante. Yeah, but some, some signs don't, don't make sense, right? Some, is, sign, some signs, this makes sense. Yeah. I mean... It is, it is a universal sign. A universal to, sign. To but but yes. this... I can't remember, what was this? This is like a bad word, work. I think. This <laughs> work. This with the... Uh, this finger. Uh-huh. I, I working. Oh, work. okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How do you feel? How do you... How, yes? With this finger, how do you feel? Oh, okay. With we will continue with that finger. later. <laughs> with this oh finger my God. Or that other? This, this, this finger, the, the middle finger. The, mid. ah, the middle okay. finger. Like, ah, it will know that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I feel good. And when you say that or that, what call me right. can ¿Entendés? you call me esto es poder ay poder yo pensé que era moto <laughs> y para que te hablas si no te puede <laughs> ok let's continue guys come on okay. let's go let's go okay. I'll be here I'll be here ok, okay. thank you ok what is the first what we are going to do. We need to explain a simple gap another side. Yes, is our, our topic. Um, yes. I think <laughs> uh, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. What, what do you do, teacher? <laughs> what do we do? Uh, okay. <laughs> Tenemos only, que leer... only, only two person on the No, 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 group. no. It's just no, no, no. Es que alguien se salió. Sí, sí. se salió este. Sí, Gabriela, ya, ya viene sí, ahorita, ahorita. Ya viene, ya viene Gabriela. <laughs> Ok, so ¿qué estamos haciendo? Vamos a leer el párrafo que les correspondió, que les corre, correspondió, que les cor, que les tocó. Eh, ahí está, les tocó uno, dos, tres. Recommendations. ¿Dónde está el párrafo? Um, a ver, el título, el, el párrafo está dentro de ese link que les envié en WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Ok, hay que abrir el link y ahí en negritas aparecen los temas. El tema que les corresponde a ustedes es Recommendations for Generation X slash Baby Boomers. Recomendaciones para la generación X o Baby Boomers. That's it. So just read and then read? understand, oh, understand, and then you explain to the class. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. Aquí voy a estar solo escuchando, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Need to read comments. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. Uh, we already read. read you but, already read, okay. Yeah, but we need to explain in our. Explaining your own words to yeah. the class, to the class. What is the, this. what is the pattern? What are the paragraphs about? Okay. What is what does it say? I mean, give your own opinion. Okay. Now uh, I think I think you need to read the first, the previous okay. part, right, in yeah. order to understand. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Um, fine. Fine sense. Let me know if you need me. I'll be here. Okay. 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 We need to do, to read until this. Okay. Hey, uh, Adriana. Adriana. Where's Adriana? Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you read? Uh, okay. From this, from this, he start and finish there, maybe. Okay. Okay. But bring, bring, bring you the, the generation gap in the workplace. It doesn't require a radical makeover or, or believe value 
and organizational. A structures to prepare gen Y for leadership. They view the world differently, but so did we at the beginning of our career careers. And like many of my fellow business leaders, I do my best to stay current. I embrace social media, read the last the latest leadership books, and stay averse, averse of trends in the marketplace. And from a workplace perspective, there is one particular conversation topic in full discourse across the country, Generation Y in co corporate America. It should be. Continue. Uh, Flor. Okay. okay. All right, the next one, two, two, the, 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 Decades. 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 From the retiring baby boomer generation, with so much writing, write about Gen Wise. Wise? Wise? Yeah, Gen Wise. Gen, Gen, okay. Challenge and over lack of freedoms to lead. It should be concerned, concerned enough to do something about it. Okay. I am a product, I am a product of Generation X, which, along with boomers, hold the vast majority of senior leadership positions in our country. We are the hiring managers, mentors, coaches, and role models for the generation that follows behind us. What are what are our assets? Assets. I would like to believe we possess wisdom. We possess wisdom. 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 <laughs> Experience and a strong commitment to the future. Or liabilities. We seem to have reservations about engaging engaging with Gen Y under the and understanding how they think. For an insightful look at Gen Y expectations in the workplace, real working with Generation Y by Dr. King Elmo, founder of founder and president of Growing Leaders. Founder. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Pamela, Pamela, huh? okay. Uh, a simple that anal analysis. A sense that we've had two camps looking at each other across a great divide with quietness, suspicion, and frust frustration. The Gen X. Baby boomer side is focused on the organization they lead, profit and loss, revenue growth, filling open position, developing employees, and the improve in providing improve improving work cultures among might other issues related to running a business. Gen Y seems to have vastly different work expectations compared to their predecessors. 
as Dr. Omar Wright said in his article, the trust in your dog is strongly disliked by the newer generation, where, whereas the, that was the working life mantra of this generation. Uh, Gen Y convinced, among all other things, work life, work life balance, schedule flexibility, belief in this company mission, and access to as the transparency of all information, there is a fundamental shift here from my entry into the... What happened? Why are you so quiet? <laughs> you were reading or, or understanding, right? Hay que leer y comprender y luego explicar lo que comprendimos, ¿ok? ¿Qué pasa? Solo el 3. El 3, correcto. A ver, déjame ver de nuevo. Bye, Les bye, tocó. Bye, recommendations bye. for Gen X Baby Boomers. Bye, 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 Pero es todo el párrafo. Sí, todo el párrafo. No, de ahí. no solo el punto 3. Um, sí. Sí, es todo el párrafo de recomendaciones para generación X y baby boomers. One, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, that's it. Hasta donde okay. dice their power. Okay. Their power, up to their power. Uh -huh. Sí sería bueno, si pueden leer lo anterior como para ir comprendiendo, ¿verdad? De qué van a hablar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. And then, relaxing and then, or smart, también. Ya me perdí cuál era. ¿El 3 que no es? No, pero, ajá, pero después dijo que el lunes a las 1. Ya lo perdí. Ah, este es. Decía que, pues sí, este baby boomers. ¿Dónde dice recommendation? Que lo quiero traducir porque no es mentira, no le voy a entender nada. Usted me pierde la selección. O lo va, lo va a leer alguien. No sé. ¿Qué se hizo la otra muchacha?
Yes, and also we, we can uh, divide the work like, uh, for example, one of us can, can start with the, in, with the introduction and the number one rec uh, recommendation. Mm -hmm. Then uh, another one can be the, can, can uh, explain the number two, the number three, and the last one, the number four and the number five. Yes, okay, for me, the five points are very polite that ways of baby boomer can be a mentor for a generation Y. Uh, the, um, uh, is the, the, the ways of see to the decision the decision for the for the including the millennial at the at the career in a, in a work. Yeah, uh, the number the number one is explaining also that uh, uh, the Y generation it is very different from the from the X generation who are baby boomers and that they were like they grew up in a different world so they have a, a different thoughts. Exactly, and and we need to learn from them. Yeah. Yes. And number two, say to, to be patient too. Mm -hmm. It's a human natural for managers to expect you to earn their trust because uh, you you need to get uh, you need to be patient to to expect uh, the the Gen Y trust you to do to do better you know because many many uh, p p childs or uh, they don't believe in our experience you know when I say something like te vas a caer de ahí vas a caer hasta que se cae te lo dije <laughs> you know they, they, they don't trust in us you know so you need to get that confidence between Yes. Uh, Let me see what else can say about this. Relationship and communication difference, notion of social media. Yeah, also if you if you see in the in the number two, it says that change is normal, but is sometimes met with resistance. Because uh, actually uh, for yeah. for 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 young people is is a uh, sometimes a very uh, is a very challenging to to change the things because sorry for for old people it is challenging to change the things because they are uh, they have the 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 thinking that the things have the have to do or have to be done in one way. Mm -hmm. And for the new generations, for the Y generation, uh, this is this is like uh, the changes are more more acceptable. That's what I that's what I, that I uh, that's what I get. And something that, that I don't understand in number three, 
And the last part, it says the, the prevalence of texting to communicate is typically not well receiving in most businesses. Also likely not Facebook is currently the preferred social network for making business related connections. So what they try to mean with uh, using Facebook or... Yeah, I, I think that it, it means that uh, nowadays, I don't mm -hmm. know if in your company they are doing this, but in my company, uh, they ask us to open a, this, to open a, a or to in register what? to this uh, app. In, uh, on Facebook? No, on LinkedIn, because LinkedIn. it is like an application. ¿Qué es LinkedIn? Es otra Yeah, Wilfredo. Yes, Wilfredo don't have internet. We work ah. on the only Nelson and Walter and me. Yeah. It's okay. Yes. Walter is is right. The, the resume we're talking about that. Okay. We stay. Are you ready to come up to the front? Excuse me? Are you ready to come to the front? I think. Okay, that's great. That's yes, we finished talking about, we make the resume and Walter make a, how do you say? Writing the, in a, in a only, how do you say presentation? A presentation, he, he made a presentation. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's just wait. Um, six more minutes. I'm just giving time to some of your classmates who are okay. working still, okay? Okay. What? Okay, I think that in a few words we understand uh, all the things that we are talking. What do you say? Amela is going to represent the group. <laughs> yes. Yes, we both for Pamela. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Okay. We only need to talk or? No, we only need to talk. We only need to talk in our, in our own, own words. Okay. Why I understand. Okay. In this case, uh, the roadmap. To the the roadmap. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. And he mentioned what is our, what is our call to action and what is theirs. I'm going to write it better. Yeah, we can read. No, write it. I said oh, okay. the, the idea. Ah, okay. Teacher, there's no electricity in Santa Ana, really? Yes, teacher. It's still enough. One moment. Oh my God, that. <laughs> And let's just wait for the others so we can start the expositions. You look like La Chele when you do that. It just remind me of La Chele. She's so beautiful. Man, they're almost done with the classes, right? Or, uh, Imagine how time yes. flies. <laughs> yeah, so fast. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday uh -huh. I was I was thinking about how how we talk, and I I was oh my god so disappoint disappointed because oh my god to to speak like you oh my god I need you need, need to practice. you need to work in a call center <laughs> really. Yeah, that's that's all you need. Yeah, but uh, but at the first side, I can't. <laughs> no, I I currently I, currently you can't. I know. Yeah, I oh my god, I was thinking and, and I tell him to myself, oh Rosalena, you need to practice more. You need to you need to understand. You need to. Oh, I was thinking a lot of. It's just that you need to do a little extra effort. Yeah. Do do the one minute technique. The just a minute. The just a minute technique. Just do that. And then correct yourself. Correct yourself. Yes. That's yes. all. Okay. Yes. That's the way I learned. And then am mm -hmm. I different? Am I different from you? Yes. <laughs> of course. 
<laughs> I'm not yes. different. I'm, I'm, in fact, in fact, many of you are smarter than me. You have mm -hmm. careers. You have, you know, about accounting. <laughs> I don't like accounting. <laughs> for example, but we are we are on, on the on the way to the to reach the goal. <laughs> Yeah, it's a learning curve. It's a learning yes. curve. Yes. Okay, so let's start. Group number one, Nelson, Susana, and Walter. Hold yours. Hello, hello. Okay, I read the first part in Baby Boomers. There are two camps through the Baby Boomer generation and the ex experience some similar thing, such as being workaholics and focusing on the growth of the economy leading to filling vacant positions. The next, please. Explain. More, Susan. Yes, the first, the time. I'm sorry, teacher. I don't say the topic. A simple gap analysis. We're talking about uh, the baby boomers, and compare with the gap X and I'm sorry, the Gen X G. and Gen Y. G, is no Y. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yes, and we see like the first baby boomers and X. Is a people work more, the millennials. They are more, they have, they had more compromise with, with his activities. Walter, the next. Okay. And the narration, hey. And we do relate the narration, hey. There are many different such the fact that they do not work and more uh, than what is established because they are three to have a balance between the work area and family life. Uh, that I see the flexibility hours that I <clears throat> they are innovative. They link to create a things different from the, that they are ready, dumb, but they are very intelligent, but really com committed. The generation in a different was approached the world. The generation J, uh, there are many differences. Uh, the generation millennials is uh, we had a balance and between the world, not only world and world, and different areas and family in life. Uh, and there are innovation the millennials the and the millennials they had a uh, they created a thin difference and and will be the generation the best millennial Okay, teacher. That's it, teacher. Okay. Um, da, da, da. Did anybody, does anybody want to add something more? Anybody else other than the group would like to add something else? You know, like somebody else from another group would like to say something? <laughs>
Okay, uh, really quick. Um, so what's the general idea? Let me see. Let me ask someone from group number two. Rosalina. What's the general idea? Because the, their topic was a simple gap analysis. In in a few words, in a two or three words, <laughs> words, mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, generation Y can can transmit to the millennials the oh my god the the experience the experience that the generation X have and can. Can I say, can join or merge? Yeah, they can merge. They can join. Yeah, they they can merge with the with the knowledge that millennials have with the technology. I think that together uh, experience uh, the oh my god the way that the millennials are. Uh, oh yes, that you say something about this. They are, they are, oh, the balance, they have, the millennials have a balance, yeah? They have balance. Um, I think that they can, this can be, oh my God, these two things can be merged, yeah? And I don't know. <laughs> I understand. There are two, there are two like values, yeah. I mean, they can merge both things, but, in in th theory, I was expecting to hear a little bit about what's the the gap analysis, and that's what they did, right? There's a gap between the two generations. Let's see, let's see if we we tie things, with, we can put things together with the second group, which is composed by you, <laughs> Roselena, Flor, Flor, Adriana, and Pamela. Okay. Pamela is going to explain what do we think about this, uh, this, uh, uh, my God, the, the roadmap. To Our bridge topic the is generation. a roadmap to reach the generations. Uh, we are discussing about the, the gap generation is, uh, is an opportunity to combine um, or skills and find a common ground um to we need to recognize that uh, nowadays employees and managers could be uh, for different generations but that doesn't mean that um, well you can look in your companies that many of you have a a manager or a, or a boss that is younger than you but it doesn't mean that um the the position of their leadership is only for uh, uh, for older for time. It's also for uh, that everyone has the different experience that it's necessary that uh, everyone adapt to, to those change. And we need to understand that the, sometimes the, the leadership is not only for uh requires only for um for uh for time that's what we we'll, we discuss it thank you Okay, somebody else from their group. I'm already talk. Now it's Flor or Adriana. <laughs> they, they, they are so shy, but. <laughs> Remember, you have to try, guys. Try.
Okay. So nobody else wants to talk. Okay. I'll follow the same dynamic. Group number three, Anacemi, Gabriela, Alejandra, and Ophelia. What do you think about group numbers two, number two um, topic, roadmap to bridge the generations? We can move forward with arms folded and fingers pointed at each other from our respective camps. Okay. Teacher, I think something about about this topic because our exception the people because are many 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 person uh, all they use very well the the technology. I that think, use I technology that, very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that. And are many, many people young? Uh, sometimes uh, we don't have opportunity for for access the machine or the or the applications, and we are uh, how do you say retrasal? We we are behind technology. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We are behind with technology. Yeah, we're staying behind. That's true. Sometimes, uh, for example, now I I used to call software. You know, we used to call a software program like Windows, like I don't know, like um, Office, Word, Excel. We used to call the applications we used to use on the computer software, right? So what, what software do you have? What, and now kids, I mean, we, we were raised with apps. What, what, APK, what APK do you have? What APP do you have? Right? I mean, even the, the vocabulary is different as we saw in on a class. Very good. And that is true. And yes, some ex generation members or baby boomers know a lot about technology actually you know what i spoke once when i used to work at dell dell computers i talked to a guy who was 90 years old an american an american who was 90 years old and i was giving him support and i i told him hey can you download this driver you know it was a heavy driver for his uh, video card. It was a heavy driver for his video card. What is a driver? A software that controls the video card on the computer. It was heavy. It was like 100 megabytes back then, you know, 300, I don't know. But the thing is that he did it like, okay, it's done. And I was like, what? Are you doing it right? And he was like, I have fiber optics. I have fiber optics in my house. So everything runs. Are you following? Se me está siguiendo? Yeah? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, so this guy told me, you know what? I saw the first computer. It was a room. It was a room. It was a big computer. And I, I then had an IBM, an IBM. Then I had... Um, I don't know, Windows 94 and so on, 92. And so he knew about computers more than me when he was 90 years old. That was, wow. My God, that was really crazy. Okay, so yes, some old people know a lot about computers more than millennials sometimes. Thank you, Susana. Let's go with the next group. Ana Selmi, Gabriela, and Ophelia. Who else is missing here? Se están desconectando, soy yo? No? Okay. So let's go with the next group. Ana Selmi, Gabriela, and Ophelia. Okay. Uh, good night. Uh, we will talk about uh, recommendations for Gen X and baby boomers. Uh, Gen X are the people that born between 
1955 to 1979, and baby boomers born between 1944 and 1964. Uh, the paragraph said uh, that one of the best recommendations is um, work and approach to work with young people and learn uh, about, about them, such as communication skills, how to use the technology and other things. Uh, the, first, um, the first recommendation that uh, the website is a start listening and stop assuming. I think that uh, most of the old uh, persons think that they know everything about their about their works, for example, and it's important that they. Uh, take the opinions for the young people and listening uh, about the new ideas. Um, somebody else? Yes, teacher. Um, in these recommendations uh, are very effective and it's important for work together different generations um, e each generation has the good um, the good um, how do you say aportaciones teacher the good things the good assets as we the said good yesterday. Assets, yes the good assets for the for the work um, for a example the generation the baby boomer and generation x they have a, a lot of experience and the generation y millennials they have a lot of skill related to of the technology and they are crea cre creative and it's good because that this recommendation are very effective because uh, the one recommendation, please start listening, stop assuming, is very important because in a um, communication uh, is necessary effective communication in in the environment for in the work in the in the work in the workplace because a lot of conflict <laughs> uh, figure out se resuelve figure uh, many conflicts are figured out are figured out through conversation through good or? communication through good communication good uh, mm -hmm. the problem is the uh, the people assume Assumed is very important to to talk in in, in the same condition the co because uh, the different generation we are co-workers we have the 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 same goals and the other recommendation be present on colleague in high school campuses is. <laughs> It's important in the in, in when I read I read the, the this recommendation, I I I was impressive in that the that specific uh, in the act okay, is very important the authentic experience because. Uh, it's important uh, when the the colleagues express uh, their opinions, the 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 authentic um, the other factor of the communication, the honest communication. Yeah, 
is very important. It is smart organization will learn to tap into their potential. It's good, teacher. It's good. In my opinion, it's possible to uh, work with different generations. And totally. this recommendation, I, I agree <laughs> with them. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Thank you. That was great. Okay, so let's go with the last group before we finish the class. Um, tonight, if possible, I would like to stay with Carla. If you have 10 minutes, Carlita, that would be great. Or Julia, I don't know if you're busy. Did, did we stay before? I can't remember. No, it's okay for me, teacher. Okay, Julia, good. Just a minute. Okay, so last group, uh, Carla, who, who was in your group? Uh, let me see. Me. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Julia, hold on. Uh, Edwin, Julia, and Carla. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Uh, our topic is uh, recommendations for Gen Y. Um, the Gen Y is also known as millennial and also as generation Y. These are uh, these are the kids born uh, between 1981 and 1996. And uh, the paragraph, the first paragraph, is, is start uh, saying that you are the new kids on the block, busting numbers, and the future is yours. And it actually sounds like a uh, a uh, Coca-Cola company uh, advertises. And, and, it's, it is, and I think it's the best way to start this because uh, actually Gen Y are the people, for me, the most uh, energetic people because uh, they are uh, getting the, the, the best part, I think. <laughs> uh, but uh, actually today's uh, the leaders that are uh, uh, leading this new generation start with the baby boomers and the first the first recommendation is having a perspective is important and it's all, uh, and it's actually said that today's leader grew up in a very different world, and that they have another uh, way of thinking. So they have uh, like rules and the, how to do this and how to do this. And this new generation is actually a little bit more flexible. So, but it's important to be or to have in, in mind that it is good to receive a, a help from the past generation. So uh, yes, because let me, let me just, yeah, because uh, things are also are new for us. For, for the millennials, sorry. <laughs> but uh, they have to get uh, all the knowledge that the past generation left and getting into the new, uh, new perspective. So that's the first recommendation. Next one. Carla. That, one, that was awesome. Very good, Julia. Thank you. That, that's like carrying the knowledge of the past to the future. That's, that's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. According to reading in the part four, it's very important to convey respect while pursuing goal. It is appropriate to have a goal and pur pursue them to yourself. Pursuit. pursuit. Just like the pursuit of happiness. Uh, pursuit. Pursuit. 
them mm -hmm. to your fullest, but cultivate a positive and respectful relationship with the company in a leadership and learning from their successful with with help you achieve them and for me i i firmly firmly believe that is essential for anyone don't lose the respect and um, part five the, the pursuit mentors and advocates most business leaders will point to mentors and advocates early in their career who play important roles in their success. Uh, it's very important that baby boomers um, uh, um, give the opportunity that the millennial can learn about her experience for development in a in a ex company that's right okay well well this was actually a very important part of the whole presentations you did a great job actually everybody thank you very much it was really good i like that those last two bullet points number four and five convey convey respect while pursuing goals um, it, some people say that you will do anything to achieve a goal right but in reality uh, if you stand on the shoulder of giants if you stand on the shoulder of giants is easier so that's a saying steve jobs steve jobs from apple used to say that you know he used to stand on the shoulder of giants and you can still do that you know getting a mentor nowadays could be reading a book getting to know about your superhero like bill gates i don't know uh hadma gandhi whoever you want to be inspired for then they can mentor you on how to do it okay i'll see you tomorrow for our last advanced one class amazing and we're done so i'll see you tomorrow i'm staying with julia tonight ada patricia linares galdames adriana stephanie martinez flores present thank you Ana selmi chévez present teacher thank you edwin alexander ayala eraso was here today with us flor de maria carballo ugarte thank you Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elisa Belinares Galdames. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra, it's done. Hold on. Oh, I know what's going on. Hold on. Gabriel Ignacio is not here. Gabriela is here. Gloria is not here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Ofe, night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. See good you night. tomorrow, guys. Don't miss your class tomorrow. tomorrow. Y por favor, terminen la plataforma. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Adriana. Bye. Ophelia. <laughs> okay, Julia. Hmm. Hi, my name is Rafael. What's your name? Julia. My name is Julia. <laughs> nice to meet you, Julia. How are you today? Mm, I'm fine. A little bit tired. Really? Why? Do you work? Yes. Where? 
Uh, I work in Romero Pineda. What, what is that? It's a buffet, a lawyer buffet. Oh, really? Are you a lawyer? Yes. No, mm. I'm not. Have you ever worked in a call center? Yes. Yes? I have. Yes. So you have call center experience? A little bit, a little bit. Like taking calls? Yes. In Spanish or in English? In English. In English, really? Yes. <laughs> how, how long did you work? I worked in there for six months, maybe. Six months. What what call center was it, if I can ask? It was the performance. Oh, and what happened? Why did, didn't you continue? Actually, I didn't like it. <laughs> I was working in, in uh, by Hilton. Hilton? So making reservations. Hilton hotels? Oh, uh-huh. Yes. And it was really hard because I didn't have any experience. Uh, and it was my first job. And it was not a, a really good experience, actually. Because Stressful. it was really hard. Yeah? So you, but you, you, um, you really handled yourself. I mean, six months six months taking calls that's awesome so what did you learn about that experience i learned that american people are <laughs> really rude some of them yeah not all they of them. are really punctual also punctual they're punctual yes, yes. okay hmm. did you like the payment yeah that was the best <laughs> That's the best part. Okay. But are you okay working right now where you work? Yes. Yeah. I really like what I do right now mm -hmm. because it's it's really different from the things that I was uh, that I was doing in the past. Mm -hmm. Because now I just uh, the, the I think the only problem is that I don't practice my uh, speaking because right now I'm just typing emails and and talking with the with the clients just by email so just through email in spanish no in english oh you use english yes really oh okay okay at least you practice typing i mean you know writing <laughs> yes. if you if you had the opportunity of working making eight hundred dollars a month would you take it i think uh yes Yes, yep. I can try. And are you working from home right now? Uh, no, I'm no? not. I'm working. Uh, I I work uh, in the office, but I was uh, well. Actually, they give me uh, the opportunity to work from home, but for the baby, I cannot. <laughs> because of so I the baby. To go to the office, yes. Because of the baby. Okay. Uh, is your work far away from your house? Sorry? Is there a long distance between your job and your house? Yes. Yes. I live in Soyapango and I work in Santa Elena. Oh, my so, God. Yeah. Yes. It's pretty far. Wow. So the traffic is horrible in the morning it's and horrible. Um, sometimes it, uh, in the evening. Yes. In the evening. No, in the evening is worse. I'm sure about it. But do you go by car or by motorcycle or by bus? I I go by car. By car. Yes. Uh, so yes, you have to be patient. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's really terrible. I mean, in our country, it rains and there's a lot of heavy traffic, you know. So, okay. And, and so is that is that all? That's all your work experience? Yes. Yeah. I just, I just work in teleperformance and then I started to work at Romero Pineda. And I have working in there like uh, five years. I've been working. I've been working. Yeah, I've been for, working. For five years. Yes. For five years. Oh, my God. So you worked at Teleperformance a long time ago. Yes. 
Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. I think that that was the, the, the problem because I didn't have any experience and, and I just uh, I just learned English. So and I just started uh, working in a call center and and it was a really good uh, a really good job. I I heard when I was working there that all all of the people working in FedEx wanted to work in in Hilton, but I didn't want to work there. Yeah, Hilton is like one of the best accounts that they have. I mean, people working there right now they have been working in in that account for a long time, for a long time. Yeah, and people the same with FedEx people. Yes. <laughs> They have been working for FedEx on a long time, but they don't move them. You know, it's like, I mean, their experience is amazing. Their volume of calls is too much. It's heavy, heavy yeah, traffic. Yeah, I was working. I was working there uh, for the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and it was back to back. <laughs> it was really hard. It was my first, uh, my first back to back experience. And I remember that day I came because I wa I worked uh, from three to eleven p.m. So yes, I came at at the midnight. <laughs> I used to I come. I used to come home by midnight. Remember, yes. I used to come home by midnight. Uh huh. With the transportation. Yes, and I told and I told my mom. Today was really hard. <laughs> I don't want to go to come back. I know it's stressful, you know. But nowadays, working in call centers is like easy cheesy. At least the one that I work for, and I worked for five call centers already. But this one is really good. I mean, even taking calls is. I, I take calls in two, three minutes. It depends on you, you know, it's up to you how how your mood is. Because if you're, I mean, all customers call upset. They, they have a mindset, you know, that they will answer upset to you. But if you're happy, if you smile, you change their behavior like that. And you go to the point, you go straight to the point. It's, it's there are techniques that you have to learn so that's that's wonderful that's good at least that you like what you're doing and you've yeah. been doing that for five years i mean so but yeah if i were you i will think about it you know it's like eight hundred dollars no more traffic yeah i don't know i think it will worth it nowadays people think twice think twice about traveling you know it's too much stress too much stress but your baby goes first that's very important too and thank god your mom is helping you with the baby yes yes that's my awesome. mom is always helping me and that's that is a blessing <laughs> that's a blessing yes totally well i'm happy to talk to you thank you for staying with me you have good english thank okay you. <laughs> take care good night julia Good night.